BMG LLC. I'm the captain. When I fly by, niggas really know what's happening. No capping. Keep my brim low, got my money up, damn right, no slacking. Hey, what you say? You looking for me? I've been on that road, I'll be back in a wig. You know I don't slay. I'm chasing that pay. You ain't talking no money, get out of my way. All right, back at it. Major Key Podcast, season two, episode two. Back in the building with the homie Hookah the Movement. You know that's the is. homie and Kuba. Macha boy and the homie Mox. Let's What's good with it? What's good? We back. How y'all doing, man? Yeah, you know. I'm good. I'm good. I'm living, gravy, man. Living, Listen, living, we living, living. Oh yeah, we definitely living. So, Every day on this side of the grass is a good day, man. Definitely. definitely. And I want to say, Mox, like, like Dama, I was telling you, move over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to be close to you. It's the pilot. <laughs> yeah, I smell yeah. good. Listen, I smell good. Yeah, yeah, when you, you look good, you smell oh, good. Oh, if oh, you oh, dig oh. me, you dig me. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, man. Another yeah, episode was... of Major Key Podcast, man. We out here with the bros, and and it's one of those things where you got to keep putting on content. You can't stop what you're doing, and this is what we're doing. You know, Pilot Music Group LLC, PMG LLC is the acronym. We started off with the music, you know, we started off with the record label. I'm the face of the label, you know, and as an artist, I was the face of the label. Then we signed other artists that was part of the label, you know, we did that. Then we dipped into radio, the Flight Zone. Shouts to the Flight Zone. Group. Shout out to Flight Zone. Every Tuesday, shout between out to those artists too that was with us, you know what facts, I mean? Continue facts. grinding, keep doing your thing, man. Big facts. You got to keep going, man. Believe in your craft. Absolutely. So like I said, my Flight Zone every Tuesday between 8 and 9 p.m. Yeah, on Rough Riders Radio. In. Download the app right now and listen yep. to us every Tuesday live. <laughs> Let's get it. You know, but Major Key Podcast was another one of those things that we just dipped into and these lights look super bright in here. Like we bright as sad. Right? Right? Hey, you know what? We lit though. We out here, man. We Lighting winning, is man. on point. Let's get it. Y'all it looks good. It looks good. Clucking, you know what I mean? It looks good. 4K, 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 4K better. 4K better. <laughs> you know, but we got to keep moving. And that would bring me... I'm going to start Major Key Podcasts like this. That would bring me to the point of not giving up. You know, there's a lot of people, Kuba and Mach, that give up before that time is there for them. Right. The day that you give up could be the day at... Let's say you give up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. 6 o'clock could be that time for you. You know? You 6 o'clock know. in the afternoon, that same day could be that time to be like, boom, you made it. You know, or, or you got to the point where you wanted to be. That's that. That's the point I want to start with. I believe once you're given a craft or given any type of, you know, um, blessing of a gift, you have to utilize that. And you can't give up because when you do, it's almost like a slap in the face. You know, yeah. it's almost like yeah. you, 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 you've, been, you've been blessed with this gift. You've been given this blessing and now you're not using it when it could have went to somebody else. You know, that's my point. So don't give up on what you're doing. There's a lot of artists. Let's start there because we dealt with artists. You know, we deal with artists still we're doing the radio show and doing uh, interviews up here on the podcast. If you want to interview, I'll let us, man. You know, we're moving and grooving. We have slots available. We got a lot of interviews coming up. So if you want to be on this platform like this, this professional, you know, let's get money. Shouts to 42. We got an interview 40 with 40. 40. Right on Major Key Podcast. Go with it, 40. But that, um, that I, also I, goes with um businesses too, right? With, absolutely, you know, businesses contracting, too. Contracting, you know, t-shirts, anything, right? Well, I feel like I mean, any business you got out there, I would say. Well, you mean it, it needs to be um be seen by other people. It needs to be on different platforms. So yes, it, it will be good for you to be on a podcast with us. You know, to discuss your business and, and like we did Ivan Vega. But, you know, he has a uh, watch business. But so. what what I mean by is. On, on the topic of you not giving up. I mean, oh, right, so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, bringing it back to that. You know yeah, yeah. I mean? so, Sorry, I, got, I, 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 I jump around a lot. I bounce around a lot. And I was talking a little marketing there. But going back to that topic, great um, you know, transition. Going back to that topic, businesses too. Because there's a lot of people that, okay, understand this. You start an LLC, much. Mm -hmm. You start a business. You start anything that you were crea creatively, creatively thinking of to start. You start it. Now, what do you do next? You started your LLC, you had to pay to get your LLC started, then you get your uh, you know, tax ID number with the feds and all that. Now, what do you do next? Because you have to pay taxes on this business. You know, Whether you make money or not, whether you generate any, any revenue, you still have to uphold your LLC. So what's your next move? It's not just, oh, I started the LLC, I got a business. Cool. Anybody can do that. Yeah. But what are you going to do after that? Don't give up. That's what I would say. Work. What you what you do after work. that work, Mach. That's what what you do after that, and I'm gonna close it out and, and get your pr perspective on both of y'all. But I would say, in my opinion, what you do after that, after you start your business, whether it's because when you're an artist and when you're a producer, when you're a mixer, engineer, whatever, you're an entity, you're a business. You have a, a name that you go by. That's a business. Service mark that, trademark that right now. 
And and Joe's right. Joe Joe Swan's talking about it takes a lot of patience. A lot of people lose patience. Absolutely, you need patience. You know, it's right. He's right. If if you don't have patience, you're not going anywhere because it's not going to happen overnight. Sometimes there's a lot of people that you know mm, they get blessed and it's like damn yo that came out of nowhere. But you don't know what they were doing behind the scenes this whole time. They could have been doing this for years and you just notice it now and you're like oh man they just came out of nowhere. No, they've been working like us. Word. We always working, man. So I want to close it out with, with as far as my um you know thought process behind that to tell the people I want to tell everybody out there don't give up you start a business today understand that first year is all loss I'm gonna keep it funky with you that's yeah. all year. That first year, unless you up there, up there, that first year you're working on marketing your business, getting your business um, to the point where you wanted to be in the second year. After that, you take off and you have to weigh your options too. If, if you, you have debt to income ratio, you have certain things that you can't fall in the hole as a business, but don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up, man. So what you think about that, much? Man, listen, if I, if I give up, I feel like I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to die. Like, hey... I gotta breathe tomorrow. Right. You know what I'm saying? I gotta eat tomorrow. I gotta survive. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no giving up. I ain't got that option. You know what I'm saying? Right. I gotta keep it pushing. You know what yeah, I'm you saying? You can't lose. Can't lose. Yeah. I mean, that's for suckers. I mean, that's, I think it's for suckers anyway. You feel me? What, like, giving up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't get it right. I mean, what you supposed to do? You supposed to either look that, it up or how to do it right. You feel right, me? Right. Figure it out or whatever. To figure out the situation. But you hey, gotta go hey. through the struggle to know where your rights and your wrongs are and your highs and your lows are too. Facts. You know? Yeah. It comes with that. Experience it comes with things that. Like that. Yeah. Word. So you gotta keep going. You're gonna hit rock bottom, but you gotta bounce back. Yeah. And you know, talking about businesses, I want to give a shout out to my brother Jose Madera. He's got um uh, Jose Madera. Say it right, man. Don't say Madera. Madera. It's not English, it's Spanish. Madera. Madera. <laughs> low, low key exotic. You know, he sells dogs, you know, um, unique dogs too, on top of that. So um go check out his page at, at Low Key Exotics. Also, I want to give another shout out to Prende La Juca up in Amboy. Shout out to the hookers, hookeros. All the no, hookahs, everything you need in hookah. Yo, it's two two seventy seven A Smith Street, Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Prende la hookah. You can follow her on IG at Prende la hookah. She has everything you need. Great prices. Very sweet lady. And when I tell you, she put you in the right place in the right spot when it comes to smoking this hookah. You going you going you gonna love her. Yeah, Go man. check her out. Shouts to everybody on Facebook Live right now, checking us out, listening to us, man, Great and chance. watching us. Shouts to Linda. She's the homie. Shouts to Linda. <laughs> Shouts love. to uh, Teresa. Uh, uh, Fetzer, shouts to Teresa. She's also the homie. Always keeping it one hundred, like she says, keeping it one hundred. So talk about you know? not giving up on the business. So right. is there is there a time frame or or not just business, but in your in your craft and and, and you know singing, rapping, mm -hmm. uh, um, producing or whatever. anything in the industry. Is there, anything in the industry. Is there a limit where you say, all right, it's time to work and focus on something else because no. this is not working. No, I would say even if you have to do it on your free time, just do it. You know, you're giving, again, you're giving a gift. And this gift you have to utilize. You have to, have to use this gift. So I know people, honestly, listen, real quick. I know a lot of, not a lot of people. I know some people that have a nine to five, Cuba, and do this, like they'll play, like they'll, they'll be on a band or they do certain things where, where they, they produce some music. And they'll do it just as a hobby on their spare time. And they do it just to keep it going. I would say that's good enough. You're giving it back to the to the to the universe, the energy back. You're utilizing you're utilizing that gift again. You know, if you want to take it a step further, much as a business, like we were just talking earlier, right? You keep going in a sense of don't don't fold on 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 the numbers. Don't fold on your business side of it. You know, because you. there's two sides of this: It's the gift, the craft. But if you have a business, you have to keep the business afloat. You have to generate enough money to keep your business going. If you don't, your business is gonna fold. Let's keep it funky. You know, you you gotta come up with something. The money gotta come somewhere, Mats. Yeah. So you either Man, hustle. There's a lot of rappers. That goes a long. It goes a long way. Like you about to say, for me, it, it, even for the hustlers, you know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. whoever you know getting money, whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? You got that's what you gotta do. That's how it happens. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Let's get it. You know what I'm so, saying? Turn it into logic and legit. So behind the scenes, there's no age limit, there's no way to stop. But now let's say you're a rapper, mm -hmm. you're a singer. Well, singers, you know, they can go a little older than what they are. But rappers, why? Why though? Is why there, is, is that? There, is there is there a time frame and a limit or an age where you should stop rapping and no. focus on something else? No, no, man, so? no. Listen, again to the question of did I just I ask think you? So. Why, no, why, Mach? Why? Why? And Why don't you want to see old rapper? He's still a good rapper. I'm, hey, man. Why, Mach? Hey. Come on, keep a G with me, man. Listen, so as we're as stuck. Bringing that heat. Yes. Listen, we're stuck within hip hop, man. The culture it has to stop. 
Within this culture, we always think like, oh, you're too old to be rapping. Why? Man, we got old rock bands. We got R&B singers that are still coming out with productive music. As a hip-hop artist, you can still come up with productive music being an old head. Let's keep it I mean, G. Yeah. Why, why does it have to be to that stigma music of he's too old to be rapping, leave it to the young guy? No. I, I give you that, that nigga still got you. bars. That nigga still can rip. Yeah. Let him rip. I give you that. And, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, though. Is it marketable? Does it look appealing? Because you and within hip hop, within rap, is about the chains. It's about the good women. It's about the cars. You know, this this is what we stuck it, to it's, in a it's way. The picture they so, see. The picture they see. So, so you see the old dude up there. No, not not to be on some bullshit, but you see the gray beard. <laughs> And with, and with the chain and the bitches, down. you ever thought like, about oh, that? No, old head with like, mad tattoos. Nah. You like say you live. Well, it's like not six, appealing. Listen, so say you live to seventy. I'm saying it right. If you made it already, let's say Drake or or you always bringing up Drake. That's your homie. That's my homie. <laughs> uh, Busta Rhymes or let's say yeah. Eminem. Like, you know they still got the talent. They still got the skill, but they made it already. They're already up there. So now, if you're still trying to make it from the basement. From the gutter, you know what I mean? Should you stop when you reach that certain no, limit? No, no, because again, look, like Teresa, shout out to Teresa. She just pointed out on Facebook Live, what does what does age have to do with it? Talent. Bro, if it didn't happen already, you should Ain't give it, it up, hang it up. It, that means isn't it, it, what is it about? My, it's about talent, yeah, right? If you go into it and, it, and you you know, you, you figured out your talent or whatever the case was, but if you've been doing it for so long, you still ain't hit, man, get out of it. Switch but, it up. Go back, something now, let's, ain't right. Let's switch it up and go to his point. We're talking about people that's already made it, like a Drake. You think Drake should stop at 45, 46, 50? Should he? Shit, nigga, stop next year. He ain't got money. No, but, we're talking about utilizing I mean, if, your craft, though. Utilizing still, your talent fire, and not If you're still stop dropping it. fire and heat, then you keep it's it going. Absolutely. Supposedly, but I feel like if craft. you're not, if the Come talent's on, not, if you're not dropping hits no more, whatever, then you know, I I think you should take a different a different angle. But dropping hits it, to a you, a different shot, you know, dropping like, hits to who? A writer or something. Dropping hits. There's, there's people that do that too. But dropping hits to who? Because what are you gonna switch it up and be like what was going on now? No, you're you, just starting the new. You're, you're gonna be like the new. You age. better figure you what's going what on. Because that's what happens. You have to keep Hip-hop. up with the with the generation. Now you think so? Yeah. I mean, you're still gonna have Big your old at 45. Fans. Could you still keep up? You, keep you, up. You're still gonna keep up. You're still gonna have your old fans, but you're trying to win the new crowd too. You know, the the, right. the upcoming kids and artists and all that. You're trying to keep up with them. So. If you don't to be have mainstream, no more, though, to be mainstream, yeah, so and to be you, on the radio and to do all things like that. Yeah, so if, if you don't have it, I feel like you should fall back and-, and Let it go? And rewrite. Not let it go, but- Hell yeah, you should let it go. Find, find another, something find else. Another, another, another find route, another, nigga. It ain't you know working. Mean, find another route. Give find it up. Else. Hang it up. You've been doing this for 10 years and you make no money. Give Listen, it up. Miles, but the point is, it, what, if, what if you have been making money, right? And then you get old and you're still making money, but you get old. That's my point. Nah, you're cool. Being old, you're okay, so you nah, can still do it. Yeah. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Because yeah. there's you a can lot do of people that you want to do. They already, but it, have, they already have their, 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 their platform. You know what exactly. I mean? Right. But other guys and other artists and singers that don't have a platform that right. are getting older, I feel like they should. Um, they should give it up. They, not give it up, but find find somebody else that can carry it for you to carry that that torch right. for so you. So, like you said, start writing and do things you like know that. What I mean, help them grow. And, Be behind and, and, the scenes a little more. Yeah, teach what if them they wasn't writing their own shit? shit? Because you already tried. You better be writing your own shit. In hip hop, you better you got see this is the thing we talked about we talked it on the flight zone Drake, on Tuesday. Drake, yeah, but there's a lot of Drake. people that buy that buy lyrics and buy and buy bars and buy shit like that. Yeah, you know they, they mean? do, but within hip hop, if you do that, you're not being authentic and exactly. you're gonna get checked you're for it. You're not being within hip hop, you wanna get checked. That's just copying somebody else's artwork. Come on, man, you can't pot paste. But listen, copy and paste there's and other shit. genres of music, they don't give a fuck about that shit. Like R and B, it's uh, country, so why, rock, all shit like that. About music then. Why would they give a fuck about the talent? Yeah, but listen, hip hop started like that. Hip hop was authentic. You're talking straight facts. You're rapping about your life. So hip hop is stuck in that, in a sense where you have to be authentic with your bars. If I'm writing your bars, much people are gonna be like, yeah, and they find out because it's on the credits. Uh, Go to any credits on any fucking song. Well, let me give up an you'll example. see who wrote that song. If you wrote my shit, I'm gonna get called out on it. Because remember, Drake got called out on that a couple years ago. Yeah, if it do add well a few for bars for a while. Let me give you an example though. If 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 somebody wants to lose weight, say you know somebody. Big, they want to lose weight. They get the surgery done. You know what I mean? Boom. They, they, you know, or somebody that. What's the difference between that and somebody that actually worked out and put in? You know what I'm saying? Put in the work. You know what I mean? Right. So I, don't, I, I just, I don't, I can't see that's not the real. Are you just you wanted to, you wanted to lose some weight? You know what I'm saying? So you cut the shit out or whatever. You, you know, you surgically 
We moved, whatever. You cut corners, you, you cheated. Yeah. Exactly. Not cheated, Instead but of working you cut out corners. and building, which is getting better. There's people that cut corners all the time, my Yeah, and like, but that's niggas what I'm like us ain't cutting no corners. Same thing for somebody writing or buying somebody some written shit. You know what I'm saying? But you still being active within the craft and within the industry, and you still use utilizing that. At the end of the day, they still lost weight, point. right? Huh? At the end of the day, they still they lost still weight. weight Mont. I, I don't know if they see, did but, cardio or they they was working yeah, out with weights, but they lost weight. You're right. So, but that's not a hundred with it, though. You know, I mean. You could have did it how you're supposed to do it. Joe Swan it said works DMX. That way. DMX, he's still listening. DMX, DMX. Shout out to DMX, man. Coming up, that was my favorite artist. You know, people he's know still, that. He still you know? spit fire. It's just but, these kids like these mumble rap and these yes, lyrics. They like so the it, hooks more than the lyrics. Now. Exactly. But your fans go with you. Because I was still listening to But X. a song is a song, though, right? What you mean, man? Like, if, if, if a hit, whatever the case was, if it wasn't all just bars... Or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? It's a mute, it's it's a song and it's, it's a banger. Yes, I mean it depends well, on the audience. Clout. It depends on the audience. Yeah, right. There's a lot right. of people, like he was just saying, a lot of young kids nowadays, they want to hear that. They don't give a fuck how much records you sold before, like an Eminem. They don't care that you have he, he has bro, he has the Guinness Book of World World Records. Nobody rap faster than this dude, right? They don't give a shit about that. They want to say the same thing over right. and over. Nah, and you're over. right because uh, they don't so care if they told. Hip hop changes though; it changes. They don't so care if they told or not. So talk right? about that, right? You see, like, don't. Like, <laughs> you're right. Don't. I'm agreeing with you. Like, you see, you see Diddy, right? Diddy's son <laughs> is now writing and trying to um, become an artist. Um, Lil Sean, Sean, Sean Simmons, um, son of <laughs> Jojo. Um, he he's also they they got talent. They're good, yeah, yeah. but I don't feel like they get the credit. Reason why is it because wow. they didn't go through the struggle because they were silver spoon, you know what I mean? They grew up with money, yeah, yeah, but that's not that's not that's so. Not, so, nah, should so they give up no. and try something else, or should they continue? Nah, you can't do that though, they you can't judge them off of that because how they, you know, grew I up. understand, but that in the streets, you're not going to get that credit. This, uh, yeah, you but know, like Will Smith's son, you know, Jay Smith, they like, ain't had to touch the streets. Like, they they never touched the streets. They never went through struggles. So they, you know, some of them are smart. They spit about different things that'll that'll basically fit their 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 lifestyle. But then you got other ones that are nah, they got they it, never they got grew it. up. They got it. That, they they got never it. grew up that rough or that tough, and they want to try to fit in where their dad nah, was or they, you know they their uncles it, or whatever. It. Yeah. So do you they think don't. they should stop, even if they have the talent? And try something different, or spit about something different, or continue that hood shit, or whatever that right, your dad they had. Have the talent. That. Nah, you got to be yourself, Uuba. I know what you're saying, yo. Yeah, that's that's good. I don't I don't think you should be like my son. I don't want my son to be like me. I want him to be better than me. So find yourself. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna lead you, and I'm gonna show you the way. But find yourself, and then portray that image to the public. Don't be like me. Like I think that's what happened with little Romeo and Master P. You know, I think he fell right on uh, the fact that Master P was so successful and was so big, he couldn't really fill his dad's shoes to be another Master P. I don't think no, that. just be Romeo. Yeah, nah, he See, was like, yeah, like he Brenda, Master Brenda, P. Master P didn't go to college, like, you know what I'm saying? Not that I know of, anyway. You know what I'm saying? But Romeo actually. Master P, I think he did go to college. He played yeah, ball and well, everything, too. Master P, yeah, he did. But played, he, yeah. Romeo's actually going to school, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah. in, in, in doing the things. Romeo that, was it, more executive. At an earlier age than Master P was. That's what it was. Let's right. keep it funky. Right. Look, I I seen some shit from Romeo right. recently, and he's just on the executive level. He's more behind the scenes. We don't see him, but this is where we get stuck within hip hop. We want to see you. Like people right now want to see Major Key Podcast. And shouts to Troy, man. He brought up a point about Twist and um and uh Busta Rhymes. They still to me, they're still relevant because these dudes, at whatever age they are right now, they still have bars. They'll put a song together right now and they'll rip. Cuba, they'll rip it. They'll they'll make some mainstream stuff right now. But understand who controls the mainstream radio and 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 that whole situation. You know, if they don't want you, the public to hear that, it's not gonna come out. It's not even about the artist. Sometimes it's the people that's controlling the media. So you know, and shouts like, to that. But um, it's like Brenda said. She said there's a few old school heart artists that just drop albums and they're not getting no buzz. So it's like, that's why I said, we, you got to change yeah. shit around because yeah, yeah. you're not going to reach your crowd the way that you used to back then because they're not, they're just so busy working and doing other shit that they're not going to be into the music like it was unless somebody puts it in their right. face. But see, the thing is, the mainstream, Cuba, how it's set up with the mainstream is set up for the people, like the younger crowd. Like all the radio stations and the, the things that, that are to the public, 
pretty much for free. Like you put on the dial, that's for free for us, but there's sponsorship and other things that are involved on behind the scenes to make money, right? But that music is what the public wants to listen to, mainstream. And we're talking mainly the age group, with it, which is probably like 14, 15, 16 to like 24, you know, in the mid-20s. Whatever they want to listen to is what's going to be on the radio. We can't control that. As an artist... As people that that put out um, um, music or content, we can't control that. Yeah. We can't control what the mainstream audience sees. You know, you could just you, you. What you have to do is still drop stuff. You have to be consistent, much. You have to still drop music, and you still have to do videos. Understand and watch this. You gotta stay relevant. Think about this real so, quick. So, real quick. Let me make this point. Go, Hold on to that. Go ahead, go I'm gonna let you make this point after that. Think about a lot of people that are doing, besides us, because we we dipping into everything. A lot of people that are doing podcasts now are people that been in the game already, that p- proven themselves. They're not starting as a podcaster. These are people that were either artists, um, um, sportcasters, athletes. Look at Ocho Cinco and them podcasts. That's a nice podcast, by the way. I don't know if you see it. I forget the name of it. Yeah, but nah, Rick Ross was on there you know, a couple episodes ago. But people that already have the mainstream audience and the back end, like Joe Button, prime example. Joe Button was a rapper. He didn't start as a podcaster. A lot of those artists now are moving to things like this to talk to the people to stay relevant video-wise, to keep to stay in your face. They're not coming on their podcast school about rapping. They're not on there you know, giving you music. They're pretty much talking to you about other stuff within the industry. You know, that's how they're staying relevant, Mach. Yeah. So that's yeah, right. makes that sense. point you was about to so, make. So getting into it, you have and building your business, you have to be patient. But now, once you're in there and you're up there and your age is up there, that patience runs out. You you gotta start pushing and working harder than what you did when you was trying to get into the industry. I was Am saying, I right? Yes, absolutely. You have to work every day you wake up. You have to work harder than the day you did the day before. Ladama, oh, how much time we got? Shout out to Ladama, oh, producer in the background. You can follow on Instagram just like that. We got seven minutes. You can follow eight minutes. You can follow on Instagram, Ladama, oh, you know, follow Hookah the Movement on Instagram, Mach RCG on Instagram. And of course, of course, the captain. It's the pilot on Instagram, man. We got a video coming up, the captain, in a couple weeks. And it's going to be a special video to me because that's what I am. I'm the captain. And this pretty much showcases and, and, and really shows the persona of everything I've been doing this whole time. I deserve this. I deserve this video. I deserve the bros with me. I deserve Cheer. everybody around that's going to be a part of this project with She's me. Because this is it right here, man. That's right. I've been proving, I've been showcasing myself and I've been proving myself for a while now. Again, years. Yeah, People fold. Working. You can start your label. Listen and understand Facebook Live, YouTube, whatever platform we on, which we on all of them. You can start a label. You can start a business. You can start a t-shirt company. You can start a production company. You can start a marketing company. Any company you want. But can you sustain it? Can you be efficient? And you can you keep delivering day after day, week after week, when you ain't getting no sleep? When you still focusing on life and your bills and everything else, can you keep that going? That's what it's about. That's what and it that's comes. To, to close out that point about giving up, that's what it's about, man. Because I'm not giving up. I promise you that. I'm not giving up. I started this for a reason. We started this for a reason. And we hit it, Mach. Big and fans. we're going to keep going. Cheers. That's PMG right. never stops. To the top. To the top, man. But yeah, man. Facebook Live, we appreciate everything out there, man. We appreciate everyone out there. Should I say it like that? You know, we, we got about what? Like four or five minutes, huh? We still got seven minutes? Damn, only a minute went by since I was yeah. telling you. <laughs> More. Keep it rolling. We, we could bounce back on the oh, subject, oh. too. So... Something similar to what you just brought up. So, <clears throat> and again, you know, this is my belief, but it's, it's, it can go both ways. I see people out there working their ass off, building companies and industries and this, that, and they're saying, I'm building a better future for my kids or, or, or an empire if I could leave this to my kids. Right. I don't believe that what I build is for my kids. If they could Why? benefit off of it. I want to hear this. If they could benefit off of it, that's cool, but- I want to build my kids to be able to do their own thing and have the, the mentality and, and, the, and the strength and the power to become their own person. If you got to use my money or whatever to get there, that's fine. But if I don't make nothing of myself, at least I build you as a, as a, as a human being right. to, to, to get, get yourself on the right track and build your own empire and right. do whatever. So I feel like 
when people say, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm working hard because of my kids and, and, and you know, I'm trying I'm to show them for my kids. I'm working hard for my kids. No, I, I work hard to provide for my kids and all that, but if I make millions, if I make if I make millions, if I buy 10 houses or whatever, yeah, I might leave it to my kids, but I'm going to tell you this, it ain't for my kids. That's my shit. You got to earn your shit. I'm going to leave you shit. You know what? I'm but the opposite. That's my shit. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm agree to now, disagree. And that, and that's what I want to hear. I want to hear your opinion. Yeah. I, I I don't want no you know no answer that sounds good. I'm, I want to hear straight disagree. facts. So the reason why I say that is because if if I hand you something and you don't have the discipline or the or or, or the mentality or the patience or 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 or, or the focus to, to be con- receptive to it exactly or continue it or yes. or make it grow. You might fuck it up. up. You're gonna fuck it up and you lose it. it but I'm gonna yeah. go both ways. I get it. I get it. So my 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 goal in life is to teach my kids how to live life and appreciate enjoy it. life, appreciate it, yeah. and and to make your own money. I get and it. Make your own shit. Not bank yeah. off my shit. You might you, you might get lucky and get my shit. You right. might get lucky and 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 start your shit off of my shit. But at the end of the day, I don't want them to depend or think. That my shit is theirs. It loses value when it's like that, yeah. man. Major Key Podcast on all platforms right now. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, Deezer. The list goes on and on. Just know we out there. You know, we do it for y'all. We do it for the uh, public. Shouts to Facebook Live. Shouts to YouTube. Shouts to Podbean. Do it you know, for you can... my kids. Yeah, we do it for the kids. <laughs> kids. But yeah, man, this is what it's about, man. It's a platform that we have for the public, and we're going to utilize it right. We're going to keep the craft going. PMG LLC is to the top. Ain't no coming Damn! Shit. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Woo! PMG. Hello, six. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah.